This Student Angler Minute is brought to you by Missouri Secrets Tackle. We only sell what works for us. Is your dream to be a professional fisherman? To make this dream a reality takes a lot of hard work, determination, and most importantly, good information. Follow along with our student anglers as they interview pros to learn the trade in the Student Angler Minute. So we're here today at the Bismarck Sports Show and we're here with Ted today and Ted, what's it take to uh, do a seminar? Well, I think the first thing is having a thorough knowledge of the subject matter you're going to be talking about. That's obviously critical. A professor cannot teach a class unless he knows the subject matter. So that's the first thing. The second thing, it's really having a passion for what you want to do. In other words, educate the anglers. So I only talk about things that I believe is going to help the fishermen catch more fish. And so that's what I do in my, turn, in my seminars. And so for us as student anglers, what, what would your advice to us be to prepare for seminars? Well, the first thing is um, either Dale Carnegie has a great course for speaking. There's also uh, Toastmasters. It gives you a lot of practice to, to speak in front of the public. Um, also, I think a good practice would be to have a video camera and have somebody videotape you while you're talking. And I think that would also be very beneficial. So just have to practice. The more you do it, obviously, just like anything else, the more you do it, the better you're going to get. How long does it usually take you to prepare? And what, what do you use as tools for your for preparation for your seminars? <laughs> well, I probably don't do seminars like most people. A lot of, a lot of guys will prepare a PowerPoint uh, with a portable computer. I used to put slides together, and you'd have to darken the room. and. It just didn't seem like people were paying nearly as much attention. So there was one seminar that I went to that I'd forgot my slides. So I had to just stand up with the rod and reel and start talking. And as it turns out, uh, everybody was engaged. It seemed like it went a lot better. It was a lot smoother. I was able to prove or point out what I wanted to get across just with my hands and with the rod and the lure that I was using. And so I've gone now completely to just bring the rod and reel on the subject that I'm talking about, go through the entire process, and then um, explain everything as best as I can with words rather than with pictures. And it seems like I get a lot better interest that way. And, uh, and over the years, I've done so many seminars and I'm s obviously I've worked at the craft and the different techniques and the tactics that I talk about. So I know about them very well. So I can pretty much right now and step on a, on a street corner somewhere and I can give a seminar on anything. You know, if you want to, somebody said jigging, I could talk about jigging. If somebody said bottom bouncers, I can talk about bottom bouncers. And I could give a seminar on a street corner now. So it's just, I've done it so many times and I can insert different stories and different examples from different experiences that I have had. And um, it seems like it works really well for me. Join us next time when we interview our next pro.